one off. Sarah Jane Siddham for Hotline down at Tekina, where we're here with got your name. <laughs> <laughs> Start Zizan, against yeah, no, Zizan. Well, there you go. No, I'll give you the hotline yeah. hat. There you go. I was going to ask, what do you do and why are you here? Well, what I do, well, I was an uh, ex-rugby player and uh, I'm, um, I'm here, actually, I'm, I'm actually here for my uh, my, my dad's uh, funeral, which I just buried him a couple of, day, couple of days ago. So uh, we had a uh, fantastic, uh, actually, send off here. So I was absolutely delighted and I got invited uh, down by uh, Robin uh, through Ian Kleinack to come down to here and uh, so yeah I'm here for the uh, for the uh, for the charity and the good cause and a, uh, we've just had a couple of uh, rounds of golf that we've uh, played and it's been thoroughly enjoyable but uh, yeah it's how, how, how did you go at golf um, I was um, yeah let's move on uh, <laughs> That, I guess you can hear from there. Okay. Um, and what's your favourite uh, thing about Wellington? Uh, Wellington, well, windy Wellington and the uh, the rain. But uh, I I had one of my best uh, best games here in, in Wellington Athletic Park uh, in 1996 against the Australians, and just happened to be on that day here, which uh, it turned up the uh, the uh, the weather was absolutely appalling, and we beat we beat Australia uh, in very very cold conditions, wet. And it was, I think it was 43, 43, 5. Woohoo! Yeah, so I was absolutely, absolutely smoked. So even though the weather was bad down here, it still was such a good game, I can imagine well, that. Well, it's a great game too, and you're beating your, uh, your little Opponents. mates just across the ditch. <laughs> I see you out there, I see you out there. And I also wanted to say, um, who was your inspiration? Uh, my inspiration as a, when I was a youngster was, a, was Sid, Sid Going and a, uh, and a, a Welshman called uh, Gareth Edwards. And Gareth Edwards was a uh, yeah I loved uh, I loved his movement I loved his uh, play but uh, for me uh, Sid Going was uh, was a, a little hero of mine when I was a youngster mm -hmm. so yeah it was and brilliant. who was who was the messiest in your team uh, the messiest uh, I well I was on the radar but uh, I wasn't I wasn't the messiest but on the touring side of things here I would have said well. You've just touched on. We've uh, had a chat with uh, about about him, but uh, Richard Lowe's not very tidy. And, uh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So, yeah. He, mm -hmm. but he's a good teammate. That's that's the, that's the most important thing here. When you go eight weeks on tour with a guy called Richard Lowe, mm -hmm. and uh, but he's he's a he's a good man on the wheel and uh, a good teammate, and he's a, uh, a fantastic tourist. There you go. And yeah. I also wanted to ask, you want to say anything to Ian out there, the Life Flight Trust, um, or any of the audience watching? Well, all I want to say to uh, to Ian, uh, look, you're just an absolutely amazing uh, amazing guy. Uh, I've known Ian for quite a few years, and he's uh, an absolutely uh, a delight to work to. He's a good, he's a good man. He's always upbeat here. He does, he does all really, really, really positive, uh, positive things. And I was absolutely, uh, I was delighted when I uh, uh, saw him when he uh, when he met me what two days uh, two days ago in the, the a, uh, a, in a in a golf match. Uh, and uh, I've just seen him the last three days. So, look, he's he's been good. He's just a, uh, I'd call him a mate actually, because he's just one of those guys here. And he's there's the uh, element, the, the likability factor is always good. So, yeah, Ian Kleinack is you you're the man. And what are you doing tonight? Um, I'm going to have a, uh, I'm going to have a couple of beverages, but uh, I'm not going to go crazy because. I'm uh, I'm not 21 anymore, so I need to make sure that I actually uh, last the weekend and uh, <laughs> enjoy the enjoy the uh, the rugby tomorrow. So yes. I'm going to save myself, and I'm not going to uh, uh, go to the wall. Yeah. So don't tell my teammates yeah. either that. So <laughs> <laughs> great game yeah. to expect tomorrow. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I wanted to say thank you for coming on to Hotline. Absolute and pleasure. Cheers. That thank was Sarah Jane Siddon down here for Hotline. Sarah Jane sitting here for Hotline down at Tekina where we were with Sophie. I'm going to give you the hot hat because this is what we do at Hotline. I want to ask you, what do you do? Um, so I'm a rugby player and I hold if you want. Yeah. I'm a rugby player and I'm also a high performance surf lifesaver. So oh, cool. yeah, for uh, New Zealand. What team? Um, I play for the Wellington Pride and obviously yeah, New Zealand for um, surf lifesaving. How are you fighting this event with the Life Flight Trust and everything like that? 
It's so awesome. So many people in the room that are giving for Life Flight Trust. It's such an important cause. There's so many people who use it and they've really emphasised that it could be your your mum, your sister, your best friend who needs it and it's just so important that Life Flight Trust is there to keep going. Beautiful, beautiful. And um, I just want to ask you some fun little questions as well. Uh, where's your favourite restaurant in Wellington? Um, I like that like Thai place on Cuba Street. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Love a good Thai cuisine. And I also want to ask, where's your favourite beach in Wellington? Island Bay. Yes. Yeah, I'm from IB, so oh, yeah. Cool. I'm also from Island Bay. We go way back. So. Yeah, we went to primary together. Yeah, so there you go. And anyway, this was Sophie down here at Takina. Is there anything else you want to say out there? Would you want to give a shout out to your mum? Or Yeah, shout out to my mum. Love you, mum. <laughs> Thanks. Cheers. Cool. Thanks. Just do it. Just do it. I finish? Okay. Check, check, pick, pick on. Oh, finish. finish. And that was Sarah Jane Seddon for Hotline, where it is hot, hot, hot down here at Takina. Cheers. Sarah Jane Seddon for Hotline down here at Takina. We were with Hina, and I'm going to give you the Hotline hat. Here you go. Yeah. I just wanted to ask, what do you do and why are you here? So we are from Slumber Zone, New Zealand. We are bed manufacturers. Of course, we are here for AM. And we know Ian since last 12, 11 years, probably. Yes, and we are supporting Ian and whatever the charity uh, events he was doing and he is doing, we always with him. And he's a wonderful person. And he reached out us for uh, supporting and the charity uh, events and also for the champions. So, so many former and current All Blacks um, are sleeping on slumber zone beds anyways just because of him <laughs> I need to start sleeping on one too <laughs> it sounds great um, so I was also going to ask um, why do you support Ian shout out to Ian out there wonderful person very kind very humble and he explains very clearly what he wants to achieve from these charity events Beautiful. and why he's supporting these kind of events mm -hmm. and um what as as a person as a business what we should be doing by supporting him mm -hmm. and um, because we are New Zealand business we are manufacturing beds so we want that our New Zealanders should be sleeping on the best beds and which is introduced I'm all these lovely people all these champions are being introduced by Ian to us to slumber zone that was the one of the reason one of the uh, former all blacks Ben Smith was our brand ambassador as well because of him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, why is a great bed so important? Oh my God. One third of your life you spend on the bed. And if you cannot sleep well, you cannot perform. So sleep is very vital and important part of our life. So our champ, we want our all champions should be sleeping on our beds and they should be bringing all the gold medals for us, us for yeah. New Zealand. <laughs> getting that good sleep getting those gold medals yes, definitely, definitely and I also wanted, wanted to ask how good is it to be here in Wellington oh wonderful wonderful mm -hmm. always uh, I think until we will be in the business we will be supporting Ian of course and Life Flight <laughs> and it's very good cause very very good cause we understand we are here and hearing every year the stories the people they are helping and really appreciate salute these people these are really heroes of our country so as a business we must must support our community and our people yeah. so yeah definitely i love wellington yeah, always love yeah. wellington. what's your favorite <laughs> part about wellington um so we have four actually retail stores also in Wellington. <laughs> Go check it out. Get a best bed for that gold yes, medal out and there. And the New Zealand Bed Company. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's why. And Wellington is the capital of our country. Yeah. So we will definitely love Wellington. Everybody, everybody in the whole world will love Wellington because of the capital of our country as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, of course, Wellington has its own charm. Mm -hmm. We very, not like Auckland, we live in Auckland. So Auckland is very, very busy, yeah. right? Yeah. Do you prefer Auckland so or Wellington come here? come to Wellington and last night we were in the city, so charming. Yes. 
very much. So life is happening here. Nice. So that's what we love. That's good to hear because <laughs> yeah, we need to hear that for Wellingtonians out there. Yeah. I also want to ask, what are you up to tonight? Uh, tonight, yes, we we actually had a beautiful day with mm-hmm. live flight and of course this lovely event. Um, tonight we have a dinner with our staff, so oh, nice. <laughs> That's nice. Well, thank yeah. you so much for being on Hotline, and thank you. Um, and I'll give a shout out to Ian out there. Oh, yeah, shout out yeah. to you. Yeah, yeah, and that you. was Sarah Jane Siddon down here at Hotline with Hina. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. <laughs> thank no you. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks. I'm gonna... Hello, it's Sarah Jane Siddon here, down here with Ian, who we're gonna give you the hot hat for mm-hmm. Hotline. And I want to yes. ask you a few questions because today sure. has been such a busy, busy day. Tuesday. I just wanted to say, where did it all start? Uh, it started in 1998 when I was working with Ronald McDonald House. Uh, the old Shed 6 was an old derelict shed, so we just put it together. And um, with the support of Mark McGuinness, um, we put together the first Champions Charity Lunch. Wow, yeah. very, very good. Yeah. Um, and I'm also going to ask, what does it mean to you? Oh, it means so much with regard to family as well I have a lot of support from Maria and and my children um, but also just to support the local community uh, and the different charities so this has actually supported now probably uh, seven different charities and 20 different community groups so probably close to seven and a half million dollars so but a lot of support from our sponsors and of course guests so everybody makes it happen thank you yeah we call it we call it the champions family yeah Yeah, well that's so good especially here in wellington most definitely um and also uh how hard is it to put on an event like this hard yeah um listen i suppose it's got easier over the years because my sponsors just want to keep coming back Mm -hmm. um just like the guests do so um you know they're just so generous Mm -hmm. every time you go out you're going to get a couple of knocks but every time I get a knock, uh, the door opens probably for three or four people. Yes. So uh, just extremely generous people, mm-hmm. really generous. That's so nice. And um, how many people are in the room right now behind you? Well, first time in 27 years we've surpassed 1,000 people. Wow. So we've got 1,040 at the amazing Tequila Conference Centre mm-hmm. and uh, we turned away seven tables. Mm-hmm. So wow. Yeah, that's great. That, that, wow, for Tequila as well yeah, in Wellington. And where do I find out about like your events and everything that you're hosted right now? Is it all on social media? Yeah, I've got to create something, don't I? My, <laughs> daughter, my daughter keeps telling me that. Um, I'm shocking at it. But um, no, listen, it supports Life Flight Trust. Um, so Life Flight do a lot of advertising and marketing for it. Um, but otherwise, you can get in touch with Ian. Here's a plug. And New Zealand Sotheby's International Realty. Nice. Get in touch with get me. Get in touch. There you go. Get in touch with me. And um, secure your table because it will sell out next year. Next year, yeah, um, and that's in 2025. So, yeah. um, and how does it? Um, oh wait, what makes it something? Wait, 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 just read my question real quick. It's okay. <laughs> um, someone that makes an events and creates generous for the great charities. What does it feel like to you? Oh. Again, sort of that feeling question, but mate, it's um, it's emotional. It's humbling, you know, like. There's times on stage when I'm talking about people that have supported that you want to break into a tear mm-hmm. because you just know that so many people are so gracious mm-hmm. and, and, I'll, and I'm forever grateful as well for the support that comes to such wonderful charity. So for me, I, it's just another person doing something good for the community and I can only do this with the support of other people. So um, that's where it comes do down you, Do you want to say anything to the audience out there watching? I, I want to say... Come and support the Champions Charity Luncheon in 2025. It's going to be a huge event and uh, look out for it. It's supporting Life Flight Trust and I want to say thank you to everybody else. And I'm going to ask you a fun little question. Uh, where's your favourite restaurant in Wellington? Favourite restaurant? Oh, I've got to say, listen, Mike Egan at Monsoon Poon is just fantastic. And um, what about your favourite beach in Wellington? I can't beat it. Um, probably, listen, I'm, I live out in Plymouthton. Mm-hmm. So, but if I'm saying beaches in town, you can't go past Oriental Bay, can you? No, you can't. But Evans Bay is great as well. And Island Bay, I say. Well, I've got to say Island Bay because my wife's from Island Bay, so I should say that. Yeah, so, okay, Island Bay. Quick word from the cameraman. Uh, is there a golf handicap? For me, uh, I play off a 36. Bullshit. <laughs>
<laughs> there you go. And that was Sarah Jane Seddon down with Ian at Takina with Hotline. Thank you so much. Thanks, Wellington Live.